Often, when we think about heart disease and the things that we need to do to prevent it, the focus is on things that we need to stop. But today, we're going to focus on things that we can start doing to improve our cardiovascular health. We should all be moving our bodies at least 150 minutes per week. This can be moderate activity like swimming, going for a brisk walk, mowing your lawn, or even dancing. If you can't do five 30-minute intervals at a time, start small. You can even start at just five or 10 minutes and work your way up. You'll be surprised how quickly you'll be able to do more. Increasing your exercise not only limits your risk of heart disease, but it also lowers your risk of developing dementia, many cancers, and diabetes. Try to include lots of fruits and vegetables throughout the day. If you're someone who likes sugary drinks, try to make a pack with yourself that before you have any of those beverages, you'll have at least one or two waters to start your day. If you like meat, then stick with the lean meats, like chicken or turkey, rather than red meat. We also recommend that you have fish at least twice per week. And the oilier, the better. Salmon, trout, sardines, tuna, these are all fish that are high in omega-3, which is helpful in lowering the risk of heart disease. Not sleeping enough has more effects than just being sleepy the next day. We should all be trying to get at least seven to nine hours of sleep. And unfortunately, sleeping in on the weekends doesn't help to make up for the effects of lost sleep during the week. Trying to fall asleep at the same time each evening and wake up at the same time each morning. Also, limit screen time in the hour before you go to bed. Bright lights from cell phones and tablets and television can interfere with your body's ability to go to sleep in a natural way. We live in a stressful world, but how much stress you experience and how you react to it can increase your risk of developing many health problems, including high blood pressure. Stress also can lead to bad habits, like smoking or overeating or not exercising. High blood pressure and these habits are all linked to damaging your heart arteries. If you find that you're stressed, think about ways that you can try to reduce that, like exercise, spending time with friends or family, gardening, yoga, whatever brings you joy. If after making these changes, you still feel stressed or anxious, you might wanna talk with your doctor, a therapist, or a religious advisor. We should all know what our blood pressure is. For most people, your blood pressure should be less than 130 over 80. We should also regularly check our cholesterol levels. Additionally, make sure that your doctor is checking to see what your hemoglobin A1C is. It tells us if you have diabetes or prediabetes. Finally, know your BMI, or your body mass index. This is calculated based on your height and your weight. This number will tell you if you're at ideal body weight, overweight, or obese. It's also important to know your family history. Know if people in your family have high blood pressure, strokes, or heart attacks. It's also important to know the age they were when they got these things. If men had heart attacks before 55 or women before 65, that's considered premature coronary artery disease. And that raises your risk of having these events at a younger age in life. Not only should you know, but it's important that you also tell your healthcare provider. Make sure that they know your family history so that you can work together as a team to limit your risk of heart disease in the future. Although heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States, by making these changes, you can start reducing your risk. If you want more information on how to take care of your heart, go to conehealth.com heart. I'm Dr. Tiffany Randall.